Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is a custom VBA workshop on how to find errors within your Excel ma uh, Excel work booklet. So hopefully this will be a popular video because I think it will be uh, super useful and we're going to do some uh, pretty cool stuff. We are, we are going to do a simplified version, but you can apply the concepts that we've previously learned in order to enhance it. So you'll see for example on A5 there's just these types of errors and we want to find them especially when we're we have these really large Excel documents and we want to figure out where are the simple errors that we don't want to miss. So how, how we're going to do this is uh, we're going to export, we're going to basically put all the values into this error summary. So I'm going to show you how it works first. So we're going to go for each R, which R represents just uh, each of the cells in uh, active work, work, uh, work uh, active worksheet, uh, active sheet. Uh, dot use range which is basically going to be all the content where there are errors if is error r dot value so if there is an error within here which is basically just a function that's already built into VBA what we're going to do here is we're going to say worksheets error summary and then we're going to say cells uh, in this case Let's just put it onto row, row second, the second row for now. Equals, and if I want to just put the error, the error value, or let's say I want to put the the sheet name. So what I do here is go r parent dot name, which is just basically going to be the higher level name of the object that we're looking at. So in this case, we're looking at cells, and the parent of the cells would be the sheet name. Just think about when you want to reference another sheet, you go this is a perfect example here the name of the sheet dot cell if you want to reference a workbooklet uh, in a particular uh, uh, sheet you go the workbooklet then the the sheet so that's how the the parent relationship works and we're going to do the same thing the rest of the way as well or similar we're just going to put different content so I'm just going to copy this We're gonna copy. We're gonna collect four different values here, and if next, next R, okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the values here across these four columns, and we're gonna cop. We're gonna obtain the address and as well the formula. So I'm just gonna put uh, in quotation this. Actually, actually doesn't lead the literal formula. But rather the content in the formula, so R dot formula, and then we're going to use a special function called CV error, with the, and then we're going to put R here. So if we run that for this worksheet, what you're going to see here on this one right here, you'll see here it pasted the 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 sheet name, the cell, the formula, and the error type. But the problem is here is like ha what happens if we have more than one error, or what happens if we want to look at more than one workbook play? Let's first deal with the error. So here I'm going to go dim row count equals uh, uh, dim row count as, let's just call it an integer for now. You can make it double if you have a lot of errors. If you have a lot of errors, then you probably have different problems. And then uh, as well, we're going to go, uh, what we're going to do here is we're essentially going to, instead of putting as a static value of 2, we're first going to make it equal to 2. And we're going to say row count. And then here we're going to go row count equals row count plus one. So for example, if I have another error, let's say, let's just copy and paste this. And let's say I'm making, let's just make this seven for, or six for example. So now if I, when I run this, you'll see here now I have both, both errors and the type of errors. So that's good. Uh, that's good for that one worksheet. What happens if I want to loop through other worksheets? So hopefully everyone's figured out this at this point or you should check out my other video. So we're going to go for each SH in uh, active workbook dot sheets, which is basically going to loop through all the different sheets. We're going to go here and we're going to go next SH. And you'll see that there's a number of errors on this workbook lid. 
And but what I also want to do is make so let's go sh dot activate. What I also want to do is make sure that if it is um, as uh, if it is another sheet, if it's the current the first sheet with the, all the errors, I want it to skip it. So if sh dot name equals error summary. Uh, then what I want to go to go then go to skip sheet and then yeah we'll just do that and then I'll define what skip sheet here is so I'll make it to skip to go go down here which is basically skip sheet oh and oh sorry I've got to it doesn't capitalize and I should probably get a clue that's probably not working so there you go now if we go back to this error sheet you'll see here all the different errors the formulas the cells is referencing and the type of errors so really powerful super simple obviously you can enhance this do a bunch of different functions format this sheet have it go through and it works pretty well I've worked I've done it on on Excel workbooklets that have 40, 50 sheets and saves a ton of time through then manually looking. So I hope everyone found that really helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If there's any content that you want me to cover, comment as well or send me an email. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.